Hi everyone, I'm Brian. I'm gonna be updating VMware Tools 1000. Now, this is just like the the uh, the uh, the install version, only it's updated. So, wait, I gotta turn my light on first. There you go. Now, I have a flash on here. Wait, I'm gonna plug it in right now. And as you can see, that's my blue one right there. I found it. Finally found it. See how boring it was back in 1000? Really, it was. Instead of just um, playing it like this, you had to go here and then tap the US Mass Storage device and then stop it. Then you would plug it. Was that, was that for sure or what back in the day? Man. And we're going to plug it now. This thing's a classic. So now let's get to the installation. For, so we're going to so click next. Typical install. Now this, uh, no, we're not installing this time. We're updating it. I guess it was only for one, one operating system. Windows 2000, that is. Yes. This is my second favorite operating system with the first being XP still. So it's validating install. Cause look how old the graphics were back then. The classic, the classic start, the classic taskbar, and the start menu was a portrait. And this is no. I have the Utopia sound scheme for this. Anyways, it's validating the install and preparing it. And of course, my 3G. I am recording this with my iPhone 3GS. You can tell by the quality of it and the and the slow movement of the thing when you go to low light. See that? It's all that. Okay, it's installing. It looks like it's almost done now. The pro the progress bar is all that. Yeah. Oh, now it's updating the the component stuff. The VMware tools icon is gone. Hope it works, cause sometimes you get problems doing this. It's moving the files, moving backup files. Here, I'm even going to prove to you that this is Windows 2000. Wait a second. Uh, and this and this Utopia sound scheme, a picture of Sarah and James in the background, plus a plus a funky, cool theme. And look, Windows 1000 Service Pack 4. It's that's the version of it. And the I got was we put a 10 on it as well. So you know, it's copying the it's copying the files now. It looks pretty identical to Windows XP, only it's a little different, and because of the taskbar. While that, okay, while I install the drivers, I'm going to, while I install that, I'm going to do this. Look at, look at the old start menu. You could get it in Windows XP, but Windows, Windows Vista and later, you can't, see? You need to use Classic Cell for this. Look, wait, I'm going to go out my virtual machine first. And that's so that's one of the old skins from one with me player eight and seven. See look in Windows XP properties. This is why one this another why this another is why Windows XP is the best. There, Clag Starman, you could and customize it either. Same thing as you could do in earlier versions of Windows. In Windows 7, you in Windows version 7 and later you can't do that. Look. What the heck? I want a classic start menu. And I'm looking at my monitor instead of the phone itself, which is looking need to see with. Look, 
This is the. It says Windows XP Professional. See how it looked like Windows 2000? Looks very familiar. Except now there's no more scrolling effects. They, I, think, I think they must have faded that out in Windows. They must fail after Windows ME. It still, it still might be available. So look, classic start menu. It's another way of accessing students. The control panel, it takes you there. It also stored the old icons back then. And it's, on, it's, set, and it's set on that option. This seems a bit slow, but don't judge the speed of it. I gotta charge my phone. But I can't do it this way. The charger is over there. Now what's taking you so long to load? Load. Maybe my Mac touches my work. Ah, there we go. Snapping three times made it come up. And so let's control pound XP. Now let's go back to 2000. So, Windows 2000 just, so anyway, Windows 2000 is just fishing up. And, and Windows XP has Search Companion. That's another thing that's great about it. I hope there's no error. So, it's, it's just preparing this thing. Okay, it's done. So, click finish. It will restart the computer. See, it will give you a message saying, you must start the system to configuration change may be feeling for it to take effect. Click yes to restart now if, or no if you have a plan to manage to start later. I clicked, I'll choose yes because, because, because I gotta update this thing. I want to keep one thousand up to date with unofficial updates. <laughs> Not two unofficial updates because, because when I installed a special update, it wrecked my computer for good. There's no way I could fix it. But and this is the and this latest version of VMware Plug It Every Time Windows XP and Vista version six point oh point four. That's the latest and it was two thousand fourteen. There I started to talk, making start start making talking my videos again, which which is like a little after that time when it was released and. I'm uploading a video on my phone saying, I don't know if you could see correctly. I'm uploading a video on my phone saying, God, focus. I'm uploading a video on my phone saying, I'm uploading something like that. It's, it's up, it's still on VM 21000. I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's going on YouTube, guys. Don't worry, it is. So, Boost thousand just up booting up. And of course it takes forever to boot up. Well not forever, but it takes a long time to boot up. Not like that one one frustrating time in April where I had my XP laptop took forever to boot up. It took like about three minutes just to boot up. Man. Just to go to the just to go to the welcome screen. Man, oh man, that was that was a that was that was painful. As, as you can see, there are no new change here because they're installed. I installed it previously. So we're thousand star up. And I hope you don't hope the video doesn't stop on me because if it does, then then there's a problem. We can make, we'll have to make it into parts. And wait a second. So, Windows 2000 is booting up now. Like I said, you heard the Utopia sound sound effect, so I have the Utopia sound scheme. And later on, I'll be making a review of my flash drive collection right here. This one is the one I always have, which is a classic. It's for storage. This one 
It's and it's blue. This one is green. Same thing as the other one, but it's newer. And this one is a different com by company. It's same color as this one, it's green. But it stores videos, so I'll take over that later. Anyways, we, anyway, we installed VMware tools on Windows 2000. Now, it was, wasn't that too bad? No, it wasn't. And look, VMware tools. You don't see any new big change. VMware, v VMware Tools version 9.6.2. That's the version. It's the services run. Uh, anything else before I stop it? Oh, that's about it. So look, this is it, guys. Alright, peace out.